Good evening, Facebook family. I just wanted to stop by this evening and um, just share my heart before I go into a meeting in a few brief moments. So much is happening and life is filled with swift transition and you just never know where life is going to take you who you will come in contact with, be in front of, because it's just moving that quickly and that expeditiously. And um, without revealing any names, because, you know, people are on my Facebook page who are dear friends of mine, um, I am asking for major prayer. I'm asking for prayer for myself and prayer for those that I love who are going through a very tumultuous time right now. And, you know, it is so important that we each come to know God and know him as our savior and our redeemer, because none of us know when we will take our last breath. One of the things that I have often said, you know, you could take a shower and fall down in your house and never recover, never get back up again. And if that were to happen to any of us, where do we stand as far as our eternal life? And right now, <clears throat> I have a dear, sweet friend whom her loved one is battling a chronic illness. And, you know, sometimes in dealing with chronic illnesses, you know, people as we once knew them, we watch them go through that change. And I myself, my father passed away the morning of my 21st birthday um, due to cancer. And he was the ultimate man for me. And, you know, I just wish every young woman could have had a father like mine, because if I could, I would have cloned him so that there would be more fathers like him in this world. And my dear sweet friend, she is, um, dealing pretty much with the same issue. So I'm asking for prayer um, because when doctors are limited, I know that God is unlimited and God has the final say. But I also wanted to stop by and um, tell people, look, if you are in a relationship with someone of the opposite sex, make your choice. Don't play games with people's hearts, emotions, and their minds. Because none of us know when we will say goodbye. And as many of us, as many of my friends that are on here, most of us are 30 plus, some even 40 and some 50. If you don't know what you want by now, you will never know. And I need everyone to pay careful attention as you are going about dating, courting and getting married. Because this is serious business. And when you marry someone, you take on everything that comes along with that person, even down to the point of sickness. And I watched my mother stand by my father's bedside as he was slowly but surely leaving this life. And one of the things that my father said to my mother, which still brings tears to my eyes to this day, he told her, you were the best man I, best woman I could have ever married, and I don't have a day of regret marrying you. So ladies and gentlemen, as you are going about your courtships, your datings, and you're entering into holy matrimony, you know, really think about the long haul because you want somebody who is going to stand by your bedside, whether you have hair on your head or you don't, whether you are fat, whether you are skinny, whether you can see, whether you are blind, you know, whether you are big, whether you are small, you know, whether you can perform sexually or whether you cannot perform sexually. You want someone in your life who is committed for the long haul, because guess what? You can have a car accident. You can have an aneurysm. Anything could happen and all of that can change just like that. And it's time for us to stop looking at the superficial things in life and what we can get from people and look at those things that build partnerships, relationships, and things that when you stand before God, God can say to you, well done, thy good and faithful servant, because whoever you marry, you want to make them better. 
You want to present them back to God better than when God gave the person to you. So I, I say all of that because I know that many people are dating and some people are married and, you know, might be going through some marital challenges and issues. But I really need for everyone to carefully and prayerfully consult the Lord because I'm telling you, when sickness strikes, it's a whole new game out there, okay? And do you have the wherewithal to stand by that person's bedside until they close their eyes? And when you say, I do, you say, I do until death do you part. Let nothing separate you, one, from the love of God, and two, from that person that you have committed yourself to. Enough is enough already. And ladies and gentlemen, if you are dating someone and you are courting someone and you guys are not getting on that same path and walking on that same road, the word of God says, how can two walk together except they agree? If there is no agreement, it's time to do some evaluation and move on to what's next. Because you don't have time to waste. And I say this and I say it again. Marriage is ministry. What does that mean? You're going to have days when you're going to look at your, your spouse and you're like, Lord Jesus, but you're going to have to see the Jesus in them so that you can continue to love that person as Christ loved the church. So if people are not honoring their vows, if they're not doing what they are supposed to, if people are not aligning themselves and you guys are not having that conversation, there's some counseling you might need. And if you're not married, you might not need that person. Okay. This is real talk right here, guys, because I am watching and listening to my girlfriend. She's holding back the tears and it is bringing back thoughts of my mind, watching my parents endure this very same thing. And to hear my father stand, well, not stand, but lay in his deathbed and tell my mother he did not regret a day of marrying her. She truly lived out the Proverbs 31 woman. Okay, so I just had to stop by and, of course, ask for prayer for this particular family. Um, I'm also asking for prayer for myself. You know, I, I'm very transparent because this is hitting home with me. And as she is in pain, I am in pain and I feel what she is experiencing. But we are decreeing and declaring that her father shall live and not die. So, again, if you are involved with someone and you see this as a dead end, remove yourself. <laughs> Remove yourself expeditiously because nobody has time to waste. Time is of the essence. You cannot redeem time, okay? But you can move from where you are and continue down the path. And hopefully it's the right path, whatever path you are on. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and I cannot say this more with a compelling heart and holding back tears myself. I mean, I'm a single mother and a lot of my girlfriends, we have to do those periodic check-ins because if we don't hear from each other, we become concerned because I could have gotten hurt. Something could have happened and it is unlike me for people not to hear from me. Okay. So you need to make up your mind who is in your life for the long haul and who is there for the short term. And then you decide where those people will lie in the flow of your everyday life. Because right about now, we do not have time to waste. And I cannot reiterate that more and more. The Bible is being fulfilled every day. Okay. The word of God has talked about this over and over. I can remember as a child hearing some of the things that I am seeing made manifest now. And it is so important that we start to align ourselves with the purpose, plan, and will of God so that we are more powerful and more passionate about the things of God and the people of God and people that God has placed in our lives. So everyone, you have a blessed night. I love you guys. And just continue to pray. Pray for those that are dealing with sickness. Praying for those that are dealing with financial struggles, whatever. I need the prayer warriors to go into your prayer closets and pray. Because we do not have time to waste. I cannot say it any more than that. I love you guys. Be blessed. Have a good night.